without further ado, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, with the help of my friend Sean, <laughs> let us begin chapter one of Barrack Bush and the Bottle Cap. Yeah! It was a warm autumn evening at about a quarter past six, and Barack Bush was cleaning his garden in the county of Mead, west of Mead even, in the town of Mathlow. It was a strange town because there was neither Mead or West Mead. But Barack got confused because when he looked at the map, he could see that his neighbour had drawn a line right over onto his property, about two feet into his property. He knew there was only one place for it to go, and that was right bang. In the middle. <laughs> he was in the middle, then he had to be right. So he plants himself right in the middle. His neighbour, Mr. Johnson, came out. He was very, very angry. He had a sickle and a scissors. He came out and he... Stuck him in the face with the scissors. <laughs> Luckily, it was a plastic scissors, so it just hurt a little, but he was okay. Barack pulled out his bottle. Of seven up. <laughs> as cool as you like. It was ice cold. He had refrigerated pants, which he had made two days earlier. <laughs> attached a bottle opener to those refrigerated pants <laughs> with the bottle of 7-Up. <laughs> Went back. <laughs> he held atop the bottle cup, top, and he showed it to Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson knew that this meant that it was wartime. <laughs> he threw the bottle toward Barack. That was his first move. Barack pulled out a set of chopsticks. <laughs> We've been having a nice little lunch in Yamamori earlier on that day. I put them in his top pocket. <laughs> you that the chopsticks met. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 8 up. Barrett, Bush, and the bottle cap. Yeah! Shit, that was something going on for five years now at this stage, and she just had. 
not enough. She brought her new born baby, <laughs> who she had conceived with Barack. It brought a whole new dimension to the whole story. <laughs> Barack and Johnson were at war again. Again and again. And twice more as well. <laughs> this time they weren't fighting for the bottle cap, but they were fighting for the baby. <laughs> Johnson still wanted the bottle cap as well, so it was a secret war also. Mary was devastated because now the baby was hiding underneath the bottle cap. <laughs> Johnson couldn't find his own baby. And couldn't understand why the baby was there in the first place. How could a baby fit it? Into the bottle cap. How could a baby be that? 